we begin tonight with breaking news and massive devastation from punishing floodwaters in Tennessee, where at least four people are dead. In Nashville, more than half a foot of rain fell in 24 hours, pushing rivers over their banks and turning streets into rapids. Some good Samaritans helping to rescue trapped motorists. Authorities there have had to bring more than 130 people to safety from flash floods. Many homes destroyed or heavily damaged. This room underwater. Entire neighborhoods submerged with many roads impassable. This is Williamson County, Tennessee today. The worst flooding in parts of the region in more than a decade. The powerful storm system wreaking havoc, spawning several reported tornadoes. That same system now sweeping across the East Coast. 20 million people on alert for severe weather. ABC's Elwin Lopez leads us off from Nashville. Tonight, the deadly flash flood emergency in the Nashville area. More than a half a foot of rain falling in just 24 hours. Do not drive. This is a life-threatening situation. The water rising in the middle of the night as families slept. Surrounding this apartment complex, more than a dozen rescued here after a mudslide. Mateo, the, the water line here is above the lock. Yeah. That's several feet. I think it's about four and a half feet, maybe. We met Mateo Guastamacchio. The high water breaking his window, trashing his apartment. It's now in ruins. And then you come back and all your stuff is gone. Mm -hmm. Everything. It looks like someone came in and ransacked. Across the area, more than 130 people rescued. Even a Nashville Metro Police officer. He was clinging uh, to a tree for safety till he was rescued. Many roads impassable. Another person rescued after driving into this waist deep water. At least four dead in the flooding's aftermath. The same system responsible for at least 16 reported tornadoes. This twister in East Texas killing at least one. In West Tennessee, another tornado tearing homes apart. Ellen Lopez joins us now from Nashville. And Ellen, you've talked to people on the ground there who describe just how quickly that water rushed in. That's right, Lindsay. People here tell me that the water rushed in faster than they've ever seen before. This creek completely submerging this bridge within just a few hours. And you can see everything that got swept away, including this mattress, showing just how devastating flash flooding can be. Lindsay. So many seemingly caught off guard there. Elwin, thank you. And now for the latest on the storm, let's go to ABC News senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. Rob. Hey, Lindsay, so much water coming out of these severe thunderstorms. We still have several more hours to contend with. The front, as you'll see right now, is just now passing the Appalachians. So severe thunderstorm watch still posted for North Carolina. Now D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, into South Jersey. This front has some potency to it, so could see damaging winds on the back side of this, on the front side. And on the back side, we're going to crank the winds like we did on Friday. High wind warnings up now for Albany parts of uh, New England. 40, 50, maybe 60 mile per hour winds into tomorrow morning. And we've got another big wind maker that's hitting the west right now. We'll be following that closely this week. Lindsay. Rob, thanks so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.